Welcome back everybody, this is Jason Seacrest and we are going to go through another step-by-step -step Adobe Illustrator tutorial. And so what we are going to be using today is the pencil and then we are going to be focusing a little bit more on speed and efficiency. So this is where we left off. We already brought it in and created a template layer. So I have a locked out template layer. Right above it I have the layer that I am going to be working on. Now if I double click on the pencil tool Major things that I want you to just no, notice is the smooth is all the way up. I have keep selected. So you'll see zero pixels down at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to bump up the stroke to right around seven. And then I am turning on rounded caps and corners in our stroke panel. So that's just going to give us a little bit more of a different approach. We're not going to do variation today. I know, I know. So it's going to be a little bit faster and it's going to be a little bit more of an icon look. So whenever we are using the pencil tool, things to just be aware of is now we are just tracing. So we have already spent some time. We have kind of figured it out. And so I don't want to overcomplicate it. You're just tracing. Now things that I, you will kind of see my mouse kind of flip and move away is I'm letting go or I'm picking up the pencil and that's going to allow me to get a, a nice sharp corner. So the bad part about that smoothing is it's going to basically kill all of your corners. So that is kind of why you'll see me do this little flip with the, the end of the, uh, the cursor there. But I'm just going to be drawing nice and smooth. And now at any point, if you want to use the segment tool, you're more than welcome to do that. If you want to use your pen tool, you're more than welcome to do that. So any of those are fine. I am just cranking through. I'm just tracing what I see. It is going to stylize things quite a bit. So we are getting a little bit more of a simplified look. Let's say compared to what we were doing with the ice cream, that was maybe a little bit more detailed. But we're just tracing along. So little things to just pay attention to. Let's do a little troubleshooting here. Is if things are erasing on you. So if you're drawing and it keeps doing this little re-edit, that is that edit selected paths. Notice that I did go back through and I turned that all the way down to zero. Why I have both is so I can connect or join kind of on the fly. So that kind of speeds up this process. And then notice that I'm kind of hovering right over my lines. That means I don't have to sit there and worry about that thing erasing on me. So I don't like that the, the erasing feature I'm not a big fan of. So I usually will have that just turned all the way off. And then whenever you're doing like big giant curves, just understand that you can always do the pen tool. So like doing one edge and then the other, that is a little bit of an easier process. So all I'm doing right there is I'm selecting both lines and I'm using the join tool. In a future tutorial, I'll actually go through and, and modify our shortcuts, but that is in the same menu as uh, the pencil tool. And if you guys are new to the pencil tool, you don't see me do a little bit of a tear off today, but you can do a little bit of a tear off. And we are getting, we're getting close. So we are already on the editing. So we've already slapped down all of our little lines. I have just kind of modified a few little things and we are pretty much ready for the cleanup. So I want to select everything. I want to click on my shape builder and then I want you to double click on it. And then what you were looking at is I have turned off that little fill highlight. And now I just have to focus on any of those little overhangs. So our ugly phase was minimized quite a bit. This process right now that I'm going through, notice I'm really, really zoomed out. You can zoom in and then you're just looking for those little overhangs. And you'll kind of see them floating out there. And so what it's actually doing is it's snipping directly to the path. So all of these are gonna be right on top of each other. And this one works really, really well with no variation. So just notice that we didn't do those weird ends or we're not worrying too much about brush the, the ends of them getting all weird and overlappy. So since those have that little round cap and they're all the same thickness, they all fit in nice together. So we are already done with cleanup. We are already on to live paint. So just select everything, go up to object, drop down to live paint, make, and I will give you all these swatches. So if you want to bring them over, if you have Adobe, just go over and type in burger and that's where I found it. But this will be in the same folder you found our burger image in. And then you're going to notice that all I'm doing is flipping my keys. So the, the right and left keys are going back and forth between my swatches. So I'm just pointing and clicking and I'm filling in. Since we didn't expand today, this is very different than what we normally do. We didn't expand. So all of the lines are live. 
And so all of those edges you might be able to see are a little bit off compared to what we're normally used to. So it's only reading the path, not the edges of the stroke. So just be aware of that. Now, big key key concept. I do want you guys to expand. This just came up in the comments yesterday. Make sure you expand and then notice that we ungrouped until I can select individual paths. So this was a little bit of a different format. Again, if my pacing is different, then you guys can always just kind of slow it down. But tracing is tracing, go fast. Like, so the idea is just how fast can you put down the lines, connect the lines, that joining will speed things up. Turning off that selected or edit selected will also speed things up. And then the longer the lines, I know everyone always makes fun of the, the ugly face, but the longer those lines are, the easier that cleanup especially with the shape builder. So the longer those lines, it is really easy to come in and then just grab them. I know it doesn't look that good, but the if you really have to zoom in and get little tiny overhangs, that is a, a much slower process. So if you're looking for really, really speed, embrace the ugly and, <laughs> and then you'll have a, a, a good time. So hope you guys like that one, especially if you guys weren't following along. I think we learned quite a bit. Uh, but with that said, thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys on the next tutorial.